in this video I'll show you how to disable the NFC payments on your Samsung Galaxy Android phone or even disable the NFC function completely. The NFC function is the thing that enables tap to pay so you can put your phone on a payment terminal and it will make a payment. This is how to disable the NFC function on Samsung Galaxy Android phones. It's 7 degrees outside. <laughs> And it's seven, seven in the morning and seven minutes, seven in the morning, seven minutes, seven degrees outside. I think that's interesting. So to disable the NFC tag, you go into the settings and in settings, go to connections. And here in connections, you have all your information about connectivity from on your phone, the Wi-Fi, uh, mobile internet, and also you have the NFC contactless payments. This is the option there and you can disable this quickly from here, just one tap and it's completely disabled. The whole, the whole NFC function is disabled. You can re-enable it just with one tap the same way. And you could actually have the option set up in here in the quick settings menu. But if it's not something you might want to use also most of the time, you don't really need to have it. For example, I have it here on page two. In the settings here, NFC and contactless payments, you have the information about what is NFC and how it works. And they show you a nice animation actually how you pay with the phone. This is a really nice function. I really like the NFC function where you can use the phone as a card. Google Pay is really amazing. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to have the card with you to make the payments. You could even not have any wallet with you, but you have your Google Google Wallet, Google Payments. You can always make a payment with your phone because of this. So you don't need to have the card with you or even a wallet. You can just tap to pay all with the phone and that's all. This is really how it works. And you can choose the contactless payments methods. When you install new apps, they might try to take over the NFC contactless payments. And here is where you choose a default. I would really recommend to use the Google Pay all the time. For Android, this is really the best option. And for Apple, it's going to be the Apple Pay. What I, how I like to have it is to have Google Pay the default, even if the phone is turned off. Even when the phone is locked, it will use Google Pay. But you can also enable this option, pay with currently open app. So if you have another banking app that can do NFC contactless payments, if that app is open, you can use that one to, to open, to pay. So you can add also... This is Google Wallet. This is, I think it's for the train tickets, maybe something. Train tickets and plane tickets. It's another option. But Google Pay, actually now Google Pay and Google Wallet, it's the same thing. So that's a bit on Samsung. It looks a bit strange, but you can most of it. The most important thing is you can disable the NFC completely and then re-enable it when you need to. The contactless payments, they don't work without NFC. So this is this is why I say about completely. So I have it here enabled. You can also disable or enable NFC in the quick settings. I swipe two times and then to the right because this is where I have it, but you can actually have the NFC payments wherever you like. So I could edit this screen. You could add the new functions there. So that's not really a problem. So here from the quick settings, I can also disable the NFC just one tap and it's disabled. When it's gray like this, it's disabled. And I can re-enable it. It even tells you instructions on how to make the payment. You put the phone on the payment terminal. It's really nothing special about it. That's all. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if you use NFC payments and if you don't use, why? <laughs> because it's really useful. Thanks for watching.